It is going to be a very busy and productive day. I want you to hang out with me. Check out what it's like to live, work, and play in the best city in the country, Dallas, Texas. We're going to execute a couple of new home contracts today, which has been a great blessing. In addition to that, we're going to go to Park Place Mercedes. Check out my man, Darren. We're going to uh, test drive the new S-Class AMG. I've had an SUV for the last 20 plus years, thinking about making a change. And um, I really like the new S-Class. Looks amazing, have never driven it, but it looks good anyway. And maybe I'm going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> I don't know. In addition to that, guys, I want you to stick around with me to this evening. It's going to be date night with the kids and their little boyfriends. So uh, looking forward to that. As you already know, I'm going to be pressing those young men during dinner. So it'll definitely be entertaining, at least for me anyway. So I'm really looking forward to that. So got a lot of things going on today. It's a beautiful day in Dallas, Texas. Guys, let me turn this around so you can see. The sun is out. It is blaring. So grateful to be alive. It's first thing in the morning and uh, we're stuck in traffic. Running a little bit late this morning. It's about 7.30. Woke up, had to check several emails. Uh, replied to those emails. So running a little bit late. But before we get the day started, I have to go to the gym. If, if I don't work out, I don't feel productive that day, so got to get this workout in so we can get the day started. Yeah, I've been wanting this forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Ain't no errors, baby. It's a new era. I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm cash. I get to the paper, boy. Extra, extra. Work with me, you know that I got it. Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands. We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it. Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it. Boom. Boom. Baby, I'm not one of them. You should try on it. Guys, dominated another workout. Listen, whatever I do, whether it's real estate, whether I'm negotiating on my seller's and buyer's behalf, or if I'm coaching or if I'm working out by myself, the goal is to dominate, it's to win, it's to destroy and blow the competition out. Man, I feel so much better that I worked out. If I don't work out in the mornings, I feel like my day just isn't productive that I'm not getting the day off started right. So if you don't work out, definitely do it. It'll give you more energy, sharpen your mind. Obviously a lot of health benefits from working out as well. So definitely make sure you're hitting the gym as well. About to head home, shower, gotta make some calls, send some emails. We're gonna head to Park Place Mercedes, check out the AMG S Class, see what it's all about. Uh, definitely need a car that drives itself so I can text, drive, and make phone calls. I'm only kidding, please. Do not berate me in the comments. I love to control the steering wheel when I'm driving. And even if there was a car like the Tesla that drives itself, I don't think so. I don't trust nobody behind the wheel except Richard Soto. So let's get this day going and dominate the rest of the day. Continue to win and destroy the competition. But guys, there is no competition. The only competition is me and yourself, the person in the mirror, and we're gonna win, baby. Let's do it. What a gorgeous day that the Lord has made, guys. I'm super excited. Got a couple deals done before I left the house this morning, but I am running late to our appointment at Park Place, but uh, it's gonna be okay. Darren's a great guy and understanding. Another great thing that's been happening, guys, just to kind of fill you in, our California offices have been growing each and every week, I am so excited and so blessed that uh, we're expanding our brand into other states. So it's been exciting. I've gotten a couple of email forms this morning with agents wanting to join the team. So they have some questions they want answered. I'm about to make a couple of calls while we're on the road headed to Plano. Let's see if a couple of more agents will join the VIP Realty team. I think this one is in San Francisco, Los Angeles. I don't know. I need to check my, my text. About to make some calls. 
Dalfred Ballard's Move Mountains Part C's turn water into wine, guys. That's what I do. So let's get to it. It's a beautiful day in the greatest city in the world, Dallas, Texas. Guys, just arrived to Mercedes Benz of Plano, sitting in the S Class. I think I like it. But more importantly, guys, I wanted to tell you if you're relocating to the DFW Metroplex, I have much closer Mercedes dealerships to my home and office. There's one in Dallas, there's one right down the street in Grapevine. However, I drive over here to Plano because Darren Chen has been taking exceptional care of me, my family, and our real estate clients at VIP Realty. So if you're moving, to this particular area and you need a new vehicle, whether it's an S-Class or an E-Class. Darren, what's the smallest one? C-Class? C-Class, CLA. C-Class, whatever it is. Or maybe you're ready to get that Maybach. Come and ask for Darren Chin. He'll be able to assist you. But now, guys, I got to go. I'm ready to put this thing in sports mode and see what it can do. We might have to upgrade the vehicle today. Let's see what happens. Guys, just test drove the S-Class. The ride was amazing. Total luxury inside. I got the inside of that car was absolutely amazing. Only issue is it doesn't have a lot of power. It wasn't an AMG S Class. They don't come out to next year. So while it's a big V8, it's a big car and it weighs a lot. So if you're wanting to cruise, you're not necessarily in a hurry. Okay. It is a great, great car. However, I'm not that old, so I need some power, I need some pep, especially cruising these Dallas highways. So it's not going to work, unfortunately. And the AMG S-Class isn't coming out to next year, so I wanted to get something here rather quickly. So I've decided to test drive a different car, and this one looks pretty fun. Let's see, let's turn around and check it out. So that thing looks pretty slick. It's gonna have plenty of room. So definitely need a four seater, which it is. And it looks sporty and it has the AMG, whatever it is, whether it's a motor, tuning, whatever it is. All I know is the AMGs are a lot funner to drive. So. Let's see what this car is about, but it's looking pretty damn sharp. There's Yesterday. absolutely no reason for you to obviously spend any sort of money right. on that car. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Uh, so, the, so how do we, somebody want to join? What do we have to do to get started? Sure, just send me an email with your DRE license number, contact information. And I'll forward that to our office manager, Alex, and she will send you the ICA via DocuSign. And once okay. she gets that back, she'll give you instructions to log into the DRE, request sponsorship, she'll accept it. Then she'll do all your onboarding, get you your email set up, logins, the paperless pipeline, and right. you know, and then you'll do be you set have up. Your own, uh the MLS and all that, or you have to sign up with the join the boards and all that? Yo, you end up joining the San Diego Board of Realtors. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, thank you, Richard. I'll be in touch. Sure, sounds good. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, Guys, it's been such a huge blessing. We've continued to grow rapidly in California. So very excited about our presence in San Diego, Los Angeles, and San Francisco. So I'm enjoying traveling back and forth, and I absolutely love it. So very excited to continue to grow, not only or California offices, but the state of Texas as well. I believe in the last week we've recruited about eight to 10 new agents that have joined our California offices. So it's very, very exciting. Just wrapped up at Mercedes of Plano, had a good time with Darren. He's such a good car salesman. He's the only car salesman I know that will literally talk you out of spending money. He gave me great advice. Say that guys. I really don't care about what vehicles I drive. I have an 85 GMC pickup truck, tan brown, that's got chip paint. 
and I drive it, and my son loves being in it because he can sit in the front. I also have an old GLK. I believe it was from 2002. The front driver's seat is all torn. It's falling apart in the back, but I drive that a lot as well. I don't care about vehicles at this stage of my life. However, I cannot pull up to a $4 million listing and the seller come out and see me in an 85 pickup truck. I just think <laughs> that trust is definitely going to be lost. So I do it mainly for work, specifically real estate, because other than that, I really wouldn't care what I drove. To be completely transparent, yes, are they fun to drive? Sure, is it cool to get on it and hit that accelerator and snap your head back? Of course it is. But do I really want to spend that much money? No, no, I don't. However, it's almost a necessity in real estate, which is kind of silly, but it is what it is. I'm going to wrap up some additional recruiting calls. Then I'm going to head home and get prepared for the date night. It has been a long time coming. I'm eagerly anticipating just harassing these kids this evening. So excited about that. So let's get back to it. We've got a lot of work to do. As you can see, the phones keep ringing. Work is never done. And I'm so blessed and fortunate that we are able to assist so many clients throughout the DFW Metroplex, the state of Texas, and now serving California. Hello, this is Jay. Hello, it's Coach Soto with BLE Basketball. How are you? Good, how are you? Thanks for calling me back. Sure, sure, absolutely. Be happy to answer any questions you have. But skill always prevails. What you don't have in height, you can make up with, with, with skill, with shooting, uh -huh. with understanding the game, with IQ, with speed and agility. You can be physically strong, not necessarily tall. There's a lot of ways to combat height. So mm -hmm. I think he'll see that in the gym and he'll see kids that are doing amazing things and they are not the tallest, but they destroy everybody that's three times taller than them. It doesn't matter if you have the skill to do what needs to be done. Oh, that, that is so good to hear. And uh, I mean, can't wait to see you. And uh, maybe that this opportunity, maybe we kindle his, uh, you know, his uh, enthusiasm. <laughs> awesome, awesome. No, yeah, I'm excited to have him. So we'll see you guys next week. And if you have any questions, just let me know. That's awesome. Thank you. Sure, thanks. Uh, bye. Bye-bye. Another player, guys. The calls keep coming, and it's I'm always excited. I'm always excited about having new kids in the program. Always excited about assisting new clients, whether they're in the DFW Metroplex or Los Angeles, San Francisco, Houston, San Antonio, Middle. It doesn't matter, guys. I get excited helping people one way or another, and I'm just so fortunate and blessed that it's two of my passions. One is real estate, and two is basketball and hanging out with the kids. Man, I, I have such a great life, I must say. Would I like to have a G650? Of course I would. Would I enjoy purchasing an island somewhere off the Bahamas? Absolutely. But let me tell you something. I have friends that are very, very wealthy. Way, way. I'm talking they're very wealthy. But do I think... I would trade my life with any of them? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty damn sure I'm much, much happier than my friends that probably have two extra zeros at the end of their bank account. So it's not always about money, guys. It's about loving what you do, following your passion, and just enjoying life. I am so excited at this point in my life, but when I was being raised by a single dad and I slept on the floor and we had an efficiency and he walked to work, picked up cans on the way home, I was happy then too. Always try to have a grateful heart and a good attitude knowing that even if things aren't going well, things are going to change because God is for me, number one, and number two, I will will it to happen, I will make it happen with hard work and perseverance. Now, not to get into a motivational speech, Let's end the motivational speeches for today. I got to get back on this phone, guys. Time to keep working. The good thing about working here in Tower One at our office in North Dallas is that we're literally attached to the mall. So we can just turn right around, walk across this bridge. And we are literally in the mall where we can go get some food and then get right back to work.
I had to come down real quick from the office and grab a bite. I was hoping to wait to dinner time since it's three o'clock. However, I haven't eaten all day and I definitely am starving. So I'm gonna eat before I head to the house. Again, it's a great luxury. If you're a business owner looking for office space, there's two different towers right here in the Galleria Mall that are exceptional A plus amenities. And again, you have access to the mall. Just take a short ride down the elevator and you'll have plenty of shopping. More importantly, a lot of dining options and you get right back to work without having to get in your car and leave the office. So very convenient to office out of this particular location. I forgot to mention guys, if you're looking for a great burger, if you're visiting Dallas or moving here, definitely go to Five Guys. It's probably one of my favorite burger joints in the city. The burgers are amazing. Now we have to uh, make a choice here. Do we turn left and go back to the office or do we turn right and head home? Yep, <laughs> we're gonna head home guys. That doesn't mean we're done working, but that means I'd rather do it from the comfort of my house. Honestly, I'm at home working the majority of the time. Very rarely do I come to the office unless it's necessary. As long as I have a laptop and a phone, I'm good to go from wherever I'm at. But I do like to come to the office and have a good time with the staff and just kind of change things up a little bit. Now we're going to get home. I still have some more phone calls, emails to reply to. And then I'm going to get ready for this date night that I've been eagerly waiting on for quite a while. Now let's see if uh, I remembered where I parked. Who knows? The IP roll team is Richard. Oh, they hung up on me. They hung up on me, guys. It happens. It's all right. I'm gonna enjoy my music. I love this song. It inspires me. It makes me feel good. Man, how powerful is that? I sought the Lord, he heard and he answered. Man, that is so powerful. And uh, man, that just that's just amazing to me. And I have to say, I am not the spotless lamb. I am not perfect. Uh, I'm about to hit some traffic and you know what? I might cuss somebody out because I've been known to do that. I might get somebody the bird. I don't know guys. I might smash the horn. Being a believer does not indicate that you're perfect because I am definitely not perfect. You should see me on a Saturday when I'm coaching and I'm smashing table, banging on chairs, kicking because we're losing over a basketball game. So I am not perfect by any means. Oh, you have a caller. To accept the call, press one. For more options, press VIP Realty, I can assist you. As I was saying, guys, the phone doesn't stop ringing. Thanks be to God. <laughs> but I'm not perfect by any means. And believe me, I've been judged more times than I can count. I'm sure people think I'm crazy. I'm a madman. I've had parents on other teams yell at me because I'm screaming. And yes, I'm cussing on occasion. Everybody survived. It's going to be okay. I'm passionate. I want to win. I don't know what to tell you guys. So <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I had parents... From the other team, they were seated right behind our bench. I hate that gym situation. So I'm going in. Actually, it was my girls' team. It's my high school girls, and I'm, I'm cursing. I'm yelling. I'm holding them accountable. God forbid you do that these days to kids. So anyway, parents were like, "Oh my God, that coach is so crazy." Blah blah blah. My parents jumped up and told those other parents to mind their business. They love me. They love Coach Soto. And uh, yeah, man, I really appreciate our parents. They actually made me a shirt. It says Billy Basketball in the front and in big letters in the back, it says, mind your business. So don't be quick to judge. I know and understand that if somebody does not know me and they walk in a gym and I'm going crazy because we're losing, 
and I might drop an F-bomb here and there, they might say, this guy's is a lunatic. He's out his dang mind. So I get it. But what they don't know is that you know, my kids love me. My parents love me. I hang out with the kids all the time. I pick them up. I drive them. I mentor a handful of them. We sponsor a lot of these kids. So, you know, don't be so quick to judge, guys. That's I try not to judge, but, you know, I have my faults. I judge a lot of people. <laughs> and uh, I should know better than to not be judging people. Anyway, we're almost home, guys. Got to start getting ready for this evening. And let the laughs in entertainment begin. Well, my friends, it's date night on a Sunday night for all the wrong reasons. About to go check on my girls and meet their little boyfriends that I can already tell you that uh, no, no, I'm no, sure I don't no. like. Apparently, <laughs> according to the girls, no boys like me, which is very odd, I must say. I have hundreds of players that have played for BLE basketball. The majority of were all boys and they all loved me. I was basically like their second dad. The families at VIP Realty all have kids and all the kids love me. However, according to these girls, I'm not a very likable person, which is odd. Just kind of fill you in on what's going on. My youngest has been dating this guy, this little this little guy for about a year and a half I think I've met him three times for a span of five minutes each time at a basketball game uh, the other gentleman that the oldest is dating I think they've been dating for four to five months been trying to catch a meeting with him since the first time they started dating but uh, I was not allowed to meet him apparently I'm scary and mean and uh, all these negative comments I keep hearing but uh, finally talked the girls into doing a date night where they bring their uh, guys with them. So uh, we're about to go to Perry Steakhouse. And uh, I didn't want to go there, to be honest with you guys. I wanted to take these little boys to McDonald's, uh, maybe Taco Bell. The initial phone calls that I received this evening were, can we go to Capitol Grill? Can we go to Morton Steakhouse? What about the Monarch? There's a beautiful view of the downtown skyline. I'm like, are you girls crazy? What are you talking about? They should be taking you there and inviting me along for the dinner. Not the other way around, but anyway. We're going to go have a good time, guys. The food is going to be amazing. And at the very least, I'm going to get some uh, entertainment value <laughs> from the, this little date night with the girls, so uh, let's see what happens. crowded in How there. How far are you? I'm about 30 minutes away. I was doing... He's 30 minutes away. You're doing work? Are you kidding? Are you joking? Are you joking? Sweetheart, I got to work to pay y'all's dinner. Obviously, I'm working. Are you... Oh, so you're joking right now? Of course, I'm not working. I, of, course, of course, I'm not joking. I'm working. <laughs> but, Dude, uh, you're loose. You're being smart with me. I would I never be smart. It. Sweetheart, I'm going to be there about <laughs> 7, 7, 15. Awesome, awesome. All right, I'll be there in 30 we'll minutes. We'll be 20. Okay, right. bye. I can't tell <laughs> These girls keep calling, wondering where I'm at. Uh, reservations were at 6.30. It's about 6.40. And I realize as I put it in sports mode to get there on time that I don't need to be in a hurry to get anywhere. They're going to have to wait on me and it reminds me of a movie guys i forget the movie but uh there was a quote that said the anticipation of death is worse than death itself so uh i'm gonna keep those girls and those young men on ice make them wait and uh shiver and shake 
until I get there because uh, they already know what's coming. I assure you, they know uh, they know what it is. So looking forward to plenty of entertainment. At least I'll get a good laugh out of it, anyways. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. Arrived. Phone keeps ringing. Hello? Hello? What's going on? So, um, I just ordered you the turtle combo. I hope not. I hope not. I guess I, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. So send it back. No, no, no. Send it back. I don't want that. That is not what I want for dinner. Well, I actually ordered two because I thought you'd like it so much. Well, you're totally wrong. So you get a second bowl. We're sending everything back when I get there. I'm 20 minutes away. I'm making calls. Let me call you back. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I'll be there I'm not kidding. I'm busy. I got a lot of work to do. You're, you're, you're holding me up. I'm not joking. I've been very busy today. Let me finish up typing and I'm going to head out. I'll be there in a little while. All right. All right. Bye. <laughs> Guys, I haven't received these many phone calls in a month's time. So I've received more calls tonight than I have in about a month and a half. I feel very special. See, I feel wanted. I feel like they care about me. Guys, my phone hasn't stopped ringing. It must be a great evening. <laughs> what? Did y'all order drinks? I'll get you another refill. I'll be back. Could I get a margarita on the rock salt? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So what, what happened? What, what caught your eye? Uh, oh, very smart. Yes. Good answer. Very good. This guy thinks he's slick. I don't believe that shit. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> so, yes, very smart. So, what? Did you ask for the digits? Because I know she didn't ask for it. Like, that'd be weird. So what happened? You asked for the digits. <laughs> mm -hmm. So who asked for the numbers? I don't think that matters. No, that, yes. So what happened? She I, asked for it? She wouldn't. So she said, ask me, ask me for my number? This kid's weird. I don't even know what to say about this. Really? Do you know? <laughs> What about you, big dog? What happened? Um, <laughs> kind of sitting at, uh, in the cafeteria, and then a mutual friend comes up to me, and she's like, do you want to take her to homecoming? And I said yes. Did you already have your eye on her before then? No. No? Mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> God. God. He didn't write this okay. He's being honest. That's crazy. That is not correct. Right. No. That's good. So you didn't recognize her? Because I didn't know you. Because you went to a different... You were on the front of her. You never sat by me. Okay, whatever. It's okay. So you asked her for homecoming. Uh-huh. And how'd that go? Good. She said yes. She said yes. Mm -hmm. She said yes. Good. And it's been good, good ever since. Yeah. Well, it's good to meet you guys. I've met you a couple of times. Never met you. I've been trying to meet you for a while. She went around me. something about an embarrassing and I mean or something crazy. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I Your hair is going to catch up. Don't mind. 